said, if you ever chilly, Blaze will be right there to bring the heat for your non-member buddies. So yeah, if you guys want it, this would be the way to get one. Just ask your teacher to set up the course or something, assign it, and then answer 15 questions. It seems like Pachi has added a new event in-game where we can basically get ourselves a fiery buddy. To choose that, we can assign them content. And, up right, so you log into your teacher's account. Now, there are a few things you can see. On the top-hand corner, you have classes which you can choose, right? Now, once you choose the correct class, what you want to do is you want to go straight to the dashboard. From the dashboard, you can see we can choose basically a topic for our students to answer. And once we choose that, we can assign them content. And, apart from that, we can also give them a, uh, what is it, right? On the right side over here, it says, that's a 15-question goal to earn a reward. It says, goal and reward answer 15 questions. Reward. Plays. Buddy. Yep. Your students will each get their reward as they achieve their goal. So let's just set it up quickly. 15 questions and let's see which of our students can complete this. So obviously the quickest way to do this is just to eliminate any monsters standing in our path. Kaboom, kaboom, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. They all are dead and we get free stuff. Alright, so just like that you can see we answered basically a grand total of one question during this entire battle. So let's go over here and while we are searching for stuff, let's answer 15 questions. And our next attack will only probably take us one, two, three, four questions maybe, but yeah, you know, it's not that bad. It'll just take way longer than what you'd expect normally to. Yeah, because most likely at most we'll end up we'll end up finding ourselves having to answer two questions in the next battle. Uh, not that good, not that bad. It's okay, I guess. Hold on, they changed the monster's location, so the monster's only here? Makes everything a lot easier. Oh no, what is this enemy? Alright, it seems like there's a one over our mailbox, and it seems like we've already got- Oh, okay. It seems like we've finally gotten use of our reward goal. It seems like answer 15 questions to receive the reward. Although it doesn't tell us how many questions we've answered, we can guess that we're actually pretty close to it by now. Like, must be at 8 or 9 or something, you know? Like, something reasonable. Right, so I'd say that went pretty well, we defeated another monster, and I think we should have defeated 5 or 6 by now. So, we, maybe there's some progress in my, but now let's check. As you can see, so far there's no progress, but we can see that we've answered 13 questions. And of those 13 questions, 4 were answered before, so we've only answered 9 questions, and we need to answer possibly 6 more. Good, we're close to getting the item. Alright, yes sir. Okay, so I think that was three additional answers, so we should be at 12, maybe. we only have to answer three more questions before we can get ourselves the fire, but this is quite good, because it means we're almost done collecting all the items in this world. Now let's just go around here quickly, quietly, and silently, we got ourselves a two. Oh, wow, that's actually a considerable amount of resistance, that's not too good. No, it's kind of like meh, but still not too good. So it seems like we've answered 16 questions, which is actually not enough. So we need to answer about two or three more, and then we can get ourselves an item. All right. So now that we've actually answered one singular question, we can cast our spell over here. And the next monster we're fighting is not going to have a very good day because it's going to be hit by like two million different types of attacks.
Now I wonder why a Tau Dipper has more health than the Force Creator does because it has like 200, uh, because it has like a solid 2 levels below the Cloud Dipper. So that either means that the baseline health is high or the progression of the health is way different, like off sync or something, you know? And now for the finishing move, let's select our spell and basically deal 200 additional damage to both enemies. So now I believe we should finally be able to cross that limit of 15 questions. And as seen over here, you can see we've answered 19 questions, which means we finally crossed the limit. Meaning when we check in, we should be able to get ourselves this buddy. And as expected, um, as expected in our mailbox, we received a mail which said you received a reward. And when you click on it, you get ourselves a new buddy. Whoa, a new buddy. Would you like them to follow you around? It's Blaze, right? Blaze is blazing around. This is what it looks like. It looks like the literal flame which just jumped out of the lava and it said, If you're ever chilly, Blaze will be right there to bring the heat. Yep, it seems like it's literally a buddy which you can get by answering 15 questions from your teacher. Well, given that your teachers actually give you quests. But apart from them, it's a free non it's a free non-member buddy. So yeah, if you guys want it, this would be the way to get one. Just ask if you to set up the course or something, assign it, and then answer 15 questions. But anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell and give this video a humongous thumbs up. I'll be catching y'all next time. One Dr. Genius out. Bye. Breaking news, everybody. Pod is imprisoned you to the area you were in the previous day. Or whenever you had last logged into pod, you are now imprisoned in the area that you were. Yep. Alright, I'll go in here to see if we can actually check, click on the map. No, you actually can't click on the map. I don't know why. We're not being able to click on the map. Pod just trapped us in locations. This is whole, this is breaking news. That was unexpected. But yeah, let me explain what I meant by that, right? So, this is your daily, more like weekly breaking news video in Podigy. So here's some of the news. But the main topic is... Now, we're not being able to exit the area which you're in for some reason. I don't know why, but we're just not being allowed to exit. Hmm, could it be that Prodigy accidentally deleted the rest of the map? Who knows? Well, let's find out. Right, so when I logged in, I tried clicking on the map, and, well, nothing happened. Quite literally, clicking on the map is doing nothing. I'm clicking on the animal page, and it opens. I'm clicking on the merchant's page, and it opens. I am clicking on the membership icon and something opens, including an embedded video. But for some reason, this map can't be opened. And if you thought that was infuriating, neither can you move around in the world. You're stuck here, can't go to visit watch, no friends. And maybe you're like, hold on, maybe there's still a chance of escaping. We go and trade with Ula, but not even the trade button is working because of course they won't let us teleport away. Yeah, so it seems like we're basically imprisoned in the area that you were for some reason. And it doesn't seem to be an issue affecting browsers, but Prodigy itself. You literally cannot escape from where you are confined. Hey, good luck with this, ladies and gentlemen. See if you can escape. Because my wizard counts. Can yours? And yeah, that basically concludes it for today's breaking news episode. Our wizards are imprisoned. Summerfest is over. Prodigy might have deleted the map. And the new arena battle system. I was going to show it to you. But as you can see, there are lack of players. And we're trapped in Bonfire Spire. So it's basically impossible to show the new battle system to you, but yeah! Um, I hope you guys found it interesting. I never thought I'd see the day where wizards are trapped in Prodigy, but yeah. Yep, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to demolish that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll be catching you all next time! One Dr. Genius out the house. Thank you for watching, and bye!